I've never winterized a ski in my life. And it snows in Tennessee. You guys have seen me ride when it snows. I've never went. I mean, I've I've participated in the process, so I've put my hands on it. I've done it, but I don't. I personally don't winterize any one of my skis because I ride year round. And guess what? N- never ever have I had a ski stored in my garage. They've always been outside. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh. And I'm like, yeah, it's gotten down to like 17 degrees, 14 degrees. It was single digits one night. Um, it's it's cold. But I'll cover them. I'll take the battery out, put it on a trickle charger. Or if I have to, I'll go out there and let it idle for about 30 seconds to get some heat through it, get it charging, put the cover back on it. And then I'll go ride. So to that effect, I'm, I'll go out there and I'll bump them. I'll bump it a little idle. Now, sometimes it's so damn cold, you can't run a hose through it. Okay. Let's be fair. You know, now if you're fro, if you're, if your hose gets frozen solid, then okay, you got a problem. Now I do have a spigot that is, uh, shares the same wall with my washer and dryer. And if I unscrew the hose and I have another hose, I have like one of those stretchy canvas hoses and I bring it in there and I screw it up, screw screwed up. I screw it on and I get the water running. It'll run. I also have ran hot water out of the hot water heater and ran it through that and and ran it through there. (gasps) How could you dare do that? Well, you know, watch me. I've done it. All right. So is it recommended? No. Should you be running boiling hot water from your hot water heater through your engine? Probably not. So I don't recommend that. But I do go out there and it hasn't been often that I've ran water through it. In fact, I just let it, I just bump it and let it idle for a few seconds, you know, for 20, 30 seconds, kill it and cover it back up. Okay. Fair enough. And I and I occasionally go out there and shake the snow off the cover if there's snow. But again, I don't live in northern Ohio. I live in central Tennessee. So it's different. You need to accommodate for where you live. But all that being said, I had guys like, hey, just run run anti ran it, run a gallon of antifreeze through it. And I'm like, well, one guy had written me and he goes, hey, should I, uh, I have a Yamaha. Um, they're telling me to run antifreeze through it. Run two gallons of antifreeze. And I'm just like, okay. First, let's explain the, anti, the antifreeze thing. Okay. Or engine coolant, whatever you want to call it. First and foremost, that shit is incredibly toxic. I know there's biodegradable versions. If you can, use that. Because guess what? You're not going to be collecting that stuff. It's going to be pumping out of your exhaust. It's going to be pumping out of your pisser on the side if you're blowing that through your engine. And the whole idea is to replace all the coolant or all the water that is in the engine block, that's in the intercooler, that's in the water box. Because that water can freeze and expand and hurt things. Understood. Totally get it. All right? So... All that being said is when uh, one gentleman reached out and he goes, hey, they're telling me I got to run antifreeze through it. I said, make a point to find a biodegradable antifreeze because the last thing you want is that all over your backyard, killing your grass, have your dog lapping it up because it thinks it's sweet and now you're killing your dog. You don't want anything like that, all right? That stuff is pretty damn toxic and you're never going to hear me I'm not Mr. Environmentalist, okay? God knows I'm not. But I will say, hey, listen, that stuff is pretty gnarly. Don't don't let it run into your flower bed. Hey, guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. 
And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.